Hey folks, Mike with H&H &H Shooting Sports Behind the Counter. I want to talk to you today about the current state of the industry and more specifically, I want to talk to you about ammunition. We posted yesterday the fact that we are being forced to reduce what we're able to sell. And quite honestly, it's a business decision that we had to make to be able to survive in this current uh, situation that we all find ourselves in. Ammunition is back ordered uh, across the board from virtually every single ammunition manufacturer. And with that being said, we have millions of dollars on back order, but it's not just flowing in. We can't just keep selling ammo across the counter and expect to survive as a business. If we don't have ammunition on the shelf, we can't sell firearms we can't rent firearms, and we certainly can't have people come to utilize the range. We hate that we find ourselves in this situation. We want to sell ammunition to the public every day. It's part of our lifeblood, but we've gotten to the point where we have to have limits, and those limits are we're not able to sell ammunition currently without the purchase of a firearm or a firearm rental. This entire ammunition shortage started back in March when COVID hit the entire country. It continued and actually got worse as civil unrest hit throughout the summer. Ammunition manufacturers quite honestly just can't keep up with demand. We're now at a point where we don't have that much in our warehouse and our warehouse stores are very close to being depleted. The cost of ammo, let's talk about the cost real quickly. Ammunition manufacturers have increased prices repeatedly starting in March. We've had three to four price increases with most manufacturers. There's a few that have only increased prices on us twice. Raw materials are uh, in short supply. Uh, their uh, costs have gone up as they've had to make changes in how they do things to um, increase production, to get the ammunition out to the suppliers. We've been getting ammunition directly from the manufacturers. We've been getting ammunition from our distributors. What we haven't done, like some dealers, is reach out to other retail sources and buy at retail and then jack the price up to sell to you, the consumer. We've only increased our prices when our cost made it necessary. When will all the ammunition come back? I wish I knew. Ammunition manufacturers aren't estimating any time frames for us, so we really are at a loss as to when we're going to be back fully stocked. Firearm manufacturers can't tell us when we're going to be fully stocked. We know for a fact we're not the first or the second store here in Oklahoma City to apply these limits. Imagine every firearm store in America with bare shelves and now the industry that filled those shelves over a course of years is now being asked to fill those shelves in a matter of a few months. It's just not going to happen. H&H family, the last thing we wanted to do was to implement these ammunition restrictions. We rely on ammunition sales for a large portion of our annual revenue. This is hurting us, and we are doing everything we can simply to make sure that we continue as the finest firearm and ammunition store in Oklahoma. Folks, thanks for listening, and thank you so very much for your understanding in this difficult time.